going on guys it's your boy and welcome to part number i think 16 i don't remember to be honest but you already know i never even fucking remember but yeah welcome to this part of gta 5 for the xbox series x what the hell is going on guys today is sunday april 28 2024 it is a little late for me to be streaming uh i completely understand that um yeah it's just been a long day guys usually you already know on sundays i gather everything um to get ready for my work week completed that about an hour or two ag um, ago i said all right well let me get my stream in then call it a night turns out that for whatever reason when i transitioned from you know normal streaming like this to a podcast or a podcast to normal streaming my microphone gets fucked up. The stupid Blue Yeti X like completely forgets the settings, completely forget what it is and just starts acting like a fucking microwave and just takes a shit everywhere. So it took a shit literally everywhere. I had to clean it up, but I think I got it now, guys. So I should sound normal and not all robotic like I did uh, earlier when I tried it. Um, so that's that. Also, too, guys, another thing... Um, uh, like the big head the biggest headline for Dumbzo De Nino yesterday was the a thousand subs We hit that the vlog is on the air the podcast was streamed yesterday and on Monday. I will upload the uh, or tomorrow I will upload the third podcast. I think on Twitch. I said it was my second but it's my official third podcast of the happy hour hangouts uh, so yeah, I'm gonna get that up tomorrow and guys, I do want to comment a little bit about that podcast because it was by far my most controversial podcast, the most entertaining. Uh, I mean, fuck, if you look at the runtime, we went for four and a half hours, dude, which is crazy. Another big, sh and it was all on Twitch too. And I got quite a bit of viewers watching. I was averaging like 10 viewers. So again, I want to give a shout out to uh, Rigo, Martin, and um, Oplex for uh being my guest they definitely helped a lot with the viewers and the engagement and all that great stuff i also want to give a shout out to uh, jamie jr in the corner i know he he was he he was not initially a part of the the podcast but um a very last minute he wanted to to join but he didn't want to be on it so we just kept him in the corner i'm like bro if you don't want to show your face you don't have to which is fine um but yeah guys that podcast was pretty wild to say the least but like i'm saying it was the most controversial one the longest one and probably the most entertaining one in my opinion we had very consistent um chatters and things like that and they were just bouncing off topics to us of which i didn't like plan on speaking of and nor did i ever plan on speaking of because they're pretty controversial we were talking about universal health care we were talking about fucking uh uh i just go watch it if you haven't watched it just go watch it we were, you're talking about a bunch of crazy shit um but yeah uh i just want to give everybody that that tapped into that one uh like a quick shout out like really um i mean fucking uh, i know there was specific people in the chat that were going heavy on us and all that stuff but it's like no hate to you guys at all realistically it brings uh attention to us it brings you know more people to the community to be chatting and to uh, bounce off questions and things like that to us so all i can really do is just be thankful you know uh how they say any publicity is good publicity so again shout out to you guys the viewers shout out to anybody that stopped by and was chatting us up that is not the last one i'm gonna plan out another one usually i usually plan them out with a month month and a half so i think the next one might be in two months or another month i just need to see who's available and who i could get on and all that great stuff but again shout out to everybody that tapped in um i will upload that stuff tomorrow so uh depending on when you're viewing this uh if you're here with me on twitch or if you're uh viewing this on youtube uh go just go on the channel it should already be there or you're gonna have to wait tomorrow to actually see it it's very long i don't i highly doubt anybody's gonna watch the whole thing but if you even care to watch it it's there um then as far as uh, channel news goes, so yeah, you guys already know my schedule. This coming up week, I'm going to get all the videos I did for Grand Theft Auto, chop them up, and then throw them on the YouTube shorts. Hopefully generate some more viewers and some more subscribers that way. Um, 
And I know I mentioned it, but the vlog is also live, so go show some love to the vlog. Like, comment, subscribe, all that great stuff. Uh, other than that, I don't think I got too much more, so let's just get right into this. I know it is a little late, but I do want to get uh, this third part out of the way for the weekend. So yeah, guys, part number 16, I think, of GTA 5 for the Xbox Series X. Let's get started. Um, and yeah, it's Sunday. I'm not gonna fucking drink. I don't usually don't drink on um, Sundays at all. So, <clears throat> um, I'm trying to remember where I left off though. Oh yeah, we did that one mission with that one crazy dude. Um, oh shit, I'm about to hit her. Um, I don't think there's any other missions, huh? No, so yeah, let's just go over to the Franklin and get him started. Oh yeah, so um, pretty significant from the last part to this one. Um, Michael got kidnapped and Trevor doesn't give a fuck. And Franklin's the only one that actually kind of cares and I'm pretty sure he's gonna go and uh, bail him out, so. Oh shit! What the fuck happened there? Oh my god, this fucking Hummer's fucked. Fucking blue as ACL. When a friend makes a mistake, huh? No, really? Oh, no. What? oh, so what? It's just me getting hurt. Is that funny? No, huh? man. Well, fuck you! I'm gonna put you in the fucking ground. You laugh at me again. Man, calm down. I have met a lot of assholes in my life, but you, oh, you're not long for this world if this is the way you fucking act. You little jumped up motherfucker. Look, how about this, man? Calm down. It was funny at first, man. I made a mistake. Unfortunately, man, you failed. That's funny as fuck. Fun, all right? I apologize. <coughs> I accept. There you go. Apology. There you go. Okay. Yeah. So, let's hug it out. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> right? You're so fucking fun, gotcha! Huh? Oh, fuck! No, I'm not funny! I'm fucking asshole! Oh, fuck! I, I had a difficult childhood. <sighs> Damn, man, you alright? I'm just, I'm just fucking on edge, you know? Look, I love you, right? But I would have. I would have. Fucking! Look, man. Lester said you had some information for us about Michael. Michael, fuck Michael, I hope he's dead. Man, I know y'all two, man. Come on, man. You two had beef before, but what the fuck happened in North Yankton? Somebody pinched him, man. Who? My friend Ron met these Chinese assholes. They're from Yangshan in China. We had some problems. They mistakenly thought Michael was a human being and kidnapped him. Yeah, and now it looks like they holding him somewhere in the city. Yes. Come on, bro. Well, go fuck yourself. You want that piece of shit? That's your fucking business, all right? He's dead to me. 
all right? And chances are, if and when I see him, he's gonna be dead to everyone else as well. Hey, come on, bro, don't do that. You're pushing your luck, pal. What was that? What? What was that? <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, Damn! Trevor, you got some fucking issues, man. Hey, it's me. What did Trevor say? Man, Michael's being held by a Chinese crew because of Trevor. The irony isn't lost. I'm sending you an app for your phone. Michael's cell just came back online. This will track its signal. It'll work better the closer you get. Be careful. Sure. Oh, fuck. Hey, there's Michael. He ain't my g -Lab. Don't try to persuade me, you're not lovers. He's laughing at you, you fucking idiot. You're making a mistake. It costs a lot of money to track you down. I had to call in every favor I could in the Midwest. And then you kill several good men. Good day, huh? Good day. Good fucking day to you. Kill him. Hey, Trevor hey, Phillips hey, isn't coming. Whoa, 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 whoa. No, hey, hey, hey. Let me down. Let me fucking down. <clears throat> Bro, how are you even driving that shit? I've been smoking too much weed, Tom. Oh shit, okay. <laughs> Damn it. Fuck. This is Grove Street. Gotta get the fuck uh, out of there. Mm. Oh fuck, okay, so take a right up here. I think I already found him. He's at these factories, huh? Yeah, he's gonna be here somewhere. Hey, he's in there somewhere. How you get in? Fuck, bro, nothing but headshots. Damn, dude, these guys fucking suck at shooting. Fuck, dude, nothing but headshots. I'm on a fucking roll right now. Bro, these guys don't even have a chance. Alright, that guy maybe does. Oh, never mind. That guy got fucking slaughtered. Fuck, okay, I fucked up on that one. I'm coming, man! 
You want me to waste the boy for? Give me a sec. Oh, that guy's gonna get fucking killed. There's more guys coming from down oh, there. Oh shit! Come on, throw me a piece. Holster it. Now you strapped, man. You was right about more coming. They got you locked down hard, homie. Hey, look out! Two dudes coming from the left. They keep coming, bro. Yeah, it turns out they really want Trevor dead. Go figure. I'm gonna check around the corner. Can you get yourself down? There's no time to get me down. Clear the corridor first. Don't need to tell me twice. Damn, how many of these fuckers are there? For real, dude. This is a slaughterhouse. There's a bunch of fucking people dead on the ground, too. You want to go in I was like, why can't I lock onto that guy? Stupid sons of bitches. Oh, that guy's about to get fucking. Oh, dude. Some fucking ground beef right there. Ground human. Oh my god, these guys fucking these guys are quick. We the ones who should be pissed with you. That's it, man. Let's go. This way, we almost out. Come on, come on, let's go. This is my rescue mission, dog. We're going. I just want to get home. I'm going to get you here. All right, I can lose these guys pretty quick. Fuck, they're coming after us. Lose them, okay? How you like me with a gun in my hand? Devin West. West? What about him? We delivered the last of them cars. Only he ain't paid us yet. Says he gonna invest the fucking money. Well, he's a clever guy. You know, that might not be such a bad idea. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> Look, Frank. Okay. Franklin, you're gonna get your money, okay? From the sounds of it, you'll even get some interest, too. And I got this other deal with Weston down at the film studio. So you gotta wait for that to play out before I got any leverage over your deal. For real? Oh, Franklin, I've had my feet chained to a meat hook for the last few hours. Give me some time, I'll figure it out, I promise. Yeah, whatever. Yeah, well, that's the bit of information that Franklin didn't know. He was over here complaining about payment, and but in reality, Weston gave him an opportunity. What, your big empty ass house? Dog, I'm depressed enough already. All right, well, listen, thanks. Look, man, before you go, what the fuck happened up there? I said, Trevor went crazy, tried to kill me, I got jumped by the Chinese. 
man, before all that. I'm talking about the Fed, Trevor, this guy Brad, man. I know what you meant. All right, look, I made a judgment call. I don't know if it's the right one. I did what I thought I had to do. I had a young family, Franklin. I was running with a crew of crazy motherfuckers with nothing to lose. I saw an out, a future for me, for my family. I took it. You took it? Man, you burned every motherfucker you've ever known. It was that or die. <sighs> Look, I know it sounds cold. I don't expect you to understand it. Not yet, but you will. When you got ties of your own. Look, you wake up one day, and, and your legs, they just give. You just can't run anymore. All right, man, look. You watch your back, all right? When Trevor finds out you're still alive, I don't know what the fuck he gonna do. Don't worry about Trevor. He's not gonna get near me. Hey. We still got the fucking, the big one, though. Hear me? Come on. Oh, it ain't me he coming for. We straight. It's you, dog. It's you. Just saying. Yeah, go wash up, Michael. You look like shit. Look at you all bloody and shit. Well, guys, I already gave my take on Michael's decision, and, I mean, Franklin clearly doesn't approve of it. But Michael is right. He's too young and naive to really understand why michael did what he did which i i respect i do the same shit oh, oh my god dude <laughs> michael you just took a shower now you're broke another fucking bone possibly <laughs> Oh, no car, no problem. Michael, your last session was concerning. I think you should, you know, the chat, call me. Can I just go see you? I think it's like his house is one of those. Whatever. Doc. Hey, it's me. Michael. Que pasa, amigo? Not good. Things have been pretty fucked up. You seem particularly confused, Mikey. Tell me why. I've been a mixed bag, Doc. Tell me about the problem behaviors. <sighs> I've been doing some thinking. I put my feet up and I reflected. My feet were literally up on a fucking meat hook. <laughs> you know, I think that did more for my mental health than all these years of therapy combined. I, mean, I know what I want now. <sighs> Trevor, he's on to me. That's fine, though. You know, it was bound to happen sooner or later. What I want, what I want is I want my family back. I want to make something. I don't want nobody owning me. I'm paying the last of my debt stock, and I'm starting over again. That sounds like a breakthrough, Michael. You needed time to reflect on the work we've done together. Don't undervalue the benefit of these sessions. Have you acted out in any other ways? I ain't been a good boy, Doc. You know, things just all of a sudden get up on top and right fucking on top. And then I lose my shit and I hurt people and then I feel bad about it. I, I'm a fucking prick. Remorse is good, but not as good as taking control before you act out. Nah, yeah, fuck his advice. Did I ever claim to be a saint? I fucked up. So fucking what? Okay, okay. Anything else? What about sex, Michael? Well, you know, I've, I've been a good boy in that regard. I'm making real progress, Doc. We are making progress, what Michael. The fuck? You're finally listening to me. Great. I really feel like you're judging me harsh here, Doc. You know? I'm doing my best. The thing is, Michael... <laughs> You know me, I'm not a sugar coder or a script writer. I mean, we tried a full range of pharmaceutical solutions a couple of years ago, and that went nowhere we want to go back to. Agreed? Agreed. 
I ain't doing that again. Pissing myself, crying, sleeping in dinner, howling in the middle of the night. Fuck that shit. Maybe we got the doses a little wrong. You're going to have to get yourself under control. Listen, next time we meet, perhaps we should meet back at my office. But, uh... <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm afraid face-to-face -face sessions have got a little more expensive. I thought you said phone sessions were more expensive. Well, they were, but I realized that wasn't fair, so I raised the price on face-to-face. -face. I'm sure <laughs> you understand. And if you don't, maybe you should. Be well. How much did he charge me? 1500 Why is it every time I don't take the therapist's advice, he always throws shit at Michael's uh, sex life? I don't get it. Hey, that's a nice car, though. I need to borrow your car, Whoa. lady. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Michael, your, bu your bureau friends just want to discuss something with us. I told them to meet at the garment factory. Get over there as soon as you can. Tracy, hey, Dad. How are you? Whatever. I am about to read all that shit. Uh, what's the S? Solomon. Yeah, let's go do some of his missions. Need to try to get Franklin paid for doing all that carjacking and shit. <clears throat> Fuck. Uh, we had a deal. We had paperwork. Hey. Fuck off, Johnny. Hey, you're a couple real badasses. Put a beat down on an old man. Yeah, we don't take that. We have a deal hey. with them. Just about. Please, get those millennial ass wipes. It's a pleasure. You fuck what? Hey, here's an old man who might hit back. Eliminate Rocco. Fuck, okay. It should be easy. I guess I didn't make it clear to you at the club. Oh, I told you to stay away. Which is what it up. How you like me now? Come on, leave before I get the cops. Because he was my brother, and that is why I am too. I'm asleep. I'm grown. I'm only a paraplegic, but you can't feel anything. Uh, yeah, you're throwing the softballs. Run, run. But uh, speaking of accidents, those guys. Had one. Oh, if only we'd met 20 years ago, Michael. Maybe I wouldn't be in this mess. Yeah, you and me both, brother. Look, it's a pain, I know. But could you come by the studio now? I got something I'm like already to here. show you. Sure. Yeah, of course. I'll be right over. Yeah, I'm already here. Bro, get the fuck out of my way. Warn you guys. What are you chewing? Nicotine. These meds are making me hate everyone. Yeah. Come in. Come in. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it turns out maybe I'm cut out for the movie business after all, huh? My friend, you're a sentimental thug with zero artistic training and nothing interesting to say. I would say you're overqualified. <laughs> anyway, shut up and take a look at that. Associate oh. of producer Michael DeSanto. Oh. Fucking A. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels like I've finally done something with my life. Actually done something. A movie. Welcome to show business. Nothing but make-believe will ever feel quite real again. 
All right, Michael, come on. Let me show you some rushes. I think you're gonna love it, but it'd be great to hear your notes. Hey, baby, I just wanted to tell you, I'm finally doing something with my life. I'm making a movie, a real one. Call me. Yeah, I don't want that van. That van's fucking shit. <clears throat> Yo, what's up? All right, now we can go to Lester and see um what business those FBI people wanted. Dad's so glad to hear you aren't dead. We'll try to talk to mom, but she's being a bitch about being dating someone who I promised totally right for me. He's a drummer. Oh my god. Okay, I ain't reading all that shit. Fast as fuck. Oh, this is our spot right here. Didn't we have a shootout here? Like, very early on? What's going on? Oh, just enjoying a little labor dispute. See, we're about to do something really, really bad. So I need to present myself as a proper textile magnet. So, so you stop making anything? Nothing looks more suspicious in America than someone who's actually prepared to make something. <laughs> Jesus. What about you? Oh, pocket, Trevor. We're having some problems. Brad. Yeah, what else? Now, so anyway, the Union Depository is on hold for now. Can't do it without him, especially now that he knows. Thank but God you guys are here. You alone? Davey, where's your boyfriend, Steve? He's on his way up. Yeah, they're up here. Listen, the shit's <laughs> about to hit Steve. the fan. Our entire lives together has been nothing but a series of fans and shits. Sort this problem out for me, and I will get Mr. Leisure Wear off your back. And if we don't? Then I will go to jail and you will get shot. Ah, fuck you, Dave. I've heard it all before. Not like this, you haven't. Has he briefed you? Oh, well, yes, he has. He told us that if we do what you say, then together we can take down the big bad wolf that is government <laughs> corruption. Yeah, and if you don't, we're all gonna fry. Because the agency's onto us. I've even got some fools in our own bureau that are questioning my methods. <laughs> I'm a liar, <laughs> a cheater, some kind of a killer and a thief. So? So, there's some uh, evidence. And I need you guys to find out what they know. All right, so what? Well, unless you're here to hack into the system, wipe it all clean? Oh, no, no, that will not work. The only way to access it is through your buildings. Fuck me. <laughs> Michael, you'd be doing me a very big favor. So he's gonna break in? This, I will make sure that all your files are deleted. I promise you. Hey! It's the last thing we do, and we're done. Period. Of course! I'm a man of my word! Dave, let's go! Come on, Lester, let's go. Good luck, gentlemen. 
<laughs> He's walking back to his fucked up car. Take us to the FIB building, the parking lot entrance. So, you got any idea how we'll do this? Scope it out? Uh, not really. But I thought we'd start by finding a way into the building. We're going in through the parking lot? No, 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 no. We're waiting for someone to come out of it. A janitor. Mm. All right. And how's that going to get us in? Well, the janitors are all on temp contracts. They get replaced when their backs go or they ask for a day off. So we find one of these guys, we turn him, and that's our end. Okay. They're a particular guy? I'm in the temp company's database right now. I found a guy about to clock off. Let me get the file here. Let me see. Harvey Molina, license plate 83QSL722. And we'll follow him and see what we think. Sounds good. Here we are. Let's wait for him. Paleo TM. Diets come and go, but the extreme paleo TM diet has stood the test of time. When you live the extreme here we go. Nope. That's not it. So what do you think about this whole messed up situation? I think they'll either kill you after this is done, or keep you doing these stupid jobs until they don't have to kill you because someone else has done it for them. Yeah, mm. that sounds about right. Well, that makes sense. That's it? Uh, not our guy. Because so what do we do? Just well, what as can we do? We do the job. And maybe you can delete the files when you're inside doing whatever else you're doing. That yeah, so he could do it himself. Out. Yeah, well, a way out is exactly what I need. Yeah, so he could do it himself. But um, yeah, that's pretty much true. Because just as corrupt as they are with everybody else, they'll do the same thing with the people they're working for or working Something's with. Something's coming. That's it. Nope. It's hard to get motivated on a job without financial incentive. You can't put a price on freedom. Well, that spur won't be there for the crew. Now, I'm gonna ask Mr. Haynes for a budget. Maybe the leftover cash from the Polito score. We need something. Yeah, see what you can do. Ooh, what's this? This is not the car we're looking for. Bro, how many fucking cars are there? Fuck. Oh, that's him for sure. That's the one. You know the drill. A couple of car lengths. What's going to happen when this guy gets wherever he's going? He's going to get his severance package. Huh, I can't tell if that's some creepy euphemism or a plain statement of facts. It's whatever you want it to be. Ah, fuck all them guns. Just trying to get into the right position. <laughs> okay. You mind? Put away the smartphone or pad or whatever the hell that is for a minute. No surfing while I'm trying to tail this guy. It's work related. Yeah, well, I'd prefer all hands on deck right now, if it's okay with you. God, you're worse than my son. You want to break into the FIB's West Coast headquarters, you're going to need more than a janitor's license plate number. You got a siren you want to turn on as well? Now let me work on some angles while you uh, keep this car behind that one and between these white lines. That's it. I mean, other than a few missing expletives in terms of racial abuse, that was my son in spades. <laughs> yeah, Michael, don't attract attention. Go oh, you're doing donuts and shit.
Huck, bro, how much more do I have to follow this guy for? Honestly, these are the worst missions in GTA. And I think I said it before. And I'll damn well say it again, dude. These are like... Holy shit. Why the fuck is my bitrate just dropping? Hmm. He's pulling over. Stop down the road a ways. Go in and have a word. Harvey Molina. Hey, Marilyn. How's that cable connection coming along? Fine, fine. Sorry, look, um, I'm busy. Only when she needs something. Harvey? Who are you? <laughs> that boy looks look scared out of his mind. Now fill your pockets with money, and all you gotta do is take a little vacation. Hey, I work two jobs, man. Take any break I can get. Uh, hey, you want the beer? Nah, I'll just take the overalls. Oh, and your ID. It's in there. Oh, and Harvey. I probably don't need to say this. But you don't play ball? I'll be forced to do something I really don't want to do. Enjoy your beer. Well, that was easy. Successful? Oh, yeah. Take me back to the factory. That was easy. Guess you were right. Steve Haynes is a shitty boss. Hey, I called Frank while you were in there. He's coming to meet us. Yeah, huh? What do we need him for? Grunt work. Information gathering. What information? The plans to the office. There aren't any digital copies, or if there are, I'm not clever enough to find them. The architect is L.S. based, so I thought Frank could tail him and take a hard copy. Sounds complicated. You sure you need these plans? Yeah, I do. If I'm going to find a way to bypass a couple of hundred million dollars worth of government security. Millions? They blew that much? Government contracts. License to steal. Wow. We are in the wrong business. <laughs> ah, he's already here. Sure not fake your death, Michael. Hey, what's the problem, dog? Steve fucking hands. Of course it's Steve fucking Haynes. It's always Steve Haynes. That is not strictly true. It's either Steve Haynes or it's Trevor or it's his family. It's always one of them. Yeah, that's true. It is always one of them. Well, fat old fuck with a horrible family and even worse friends. I told you, Franklin, I ain't a good role model. Period. Yeah, whatever, dawg. It's either this or Dylan dime bags. The bullets come cracking at your ass either way. Yeah, thanks. We need to find out something about this FIB building, a weakness or a way in. Next time I meet a morally destitute, totally delusional, highly corrupt government agent. I hope he's a nice one. Man, I'm not going in that motherfucker by myself. No, 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 no. Nobody is going in. We need to do some recon. We need a little more information. She. I need the architectural plans. But they're not Fuck. anywhere. So I'm gonna need paper copies. Now the architect's name is Chip Peterson. This was his first big commission, and the office is down in Backlot City. All right. Franklin, you go tell him for a little while, and then we'll talk. All right, dog. All right, looks like my shit's dead now. Bro, what the fuck's up with my stupid bit rate? Shit just fucking plummeted. Try not to hurt yourself. Oh, good, good, good. Says the streams at a good quality. Start a 
up, you piece of shit. Um. Oh, looks like fucking. I think his family's back. Maybe. Don't worry, we broke up. He was a dick. One of his tires all fucked up again. Oh my god. Go turn! Oh my god. Can't even drive that fucking car anymore. I'm gonna be using your car. Bourbon whiskey. Bro, wash the dishes, Michael. Clean up the house. you okay i just i get so mad and i can't control things and then you know shit just falls on top of me my life sucks right now and i don't know what to do except i want to say i love you and hug it out but all that wimpy shit is just well i'd say gay but i have some friends who are gay so that's not cool anymore and the ones that i don't really like it's not because they're gay so lame all right you are just a lame and angry psycho sometimes you do bad shit and things I don't know if I love you, and I'm pretty sure I hate you a little bit, but I'm just so fucking upset that we can't even see each other. And you're just a drunk, lame dad. You know what? That might just be the nicest thing anybody's ever said to me. <sighs> so will you buy me a car? What? <laughs> I mean, not in the so will you buy me a car kind of way, in a completely off topic, can you buy me a car? I mean, firstly, I'm a, a fat shit that you ruined. And, and secondly, I will get a job and I will stop smoking pot in that sort of way, okay? I love you too, son. Now, go. Get a job. Because I don't have the money to buy you a car. Besides which way, I'm probably going to be dead in a couple weeks anyway. Please don't die, okay? It's great catching up with you too, Dad. Yeah. Hey. That's one hell of a relationship. Oh, she's great. No, she's not. She's bored. I mean, all this mesmerizing, tantric sex she's been having with a much younger, better built, caring and compassionate man is great and all, but what's she gonna do for the other six hours of the day? What the fuck? I I'm just winding you up, you miserable bastard. She's mad at you. She's scared that you're gonna die, and she wants you to go over there and prove that you give a fuck. All right, all right, all right! I can take a fucking hit! Let's go. 
We'll get Tracy on the way. Tracy, on the other hand, she's a star. Sort of. <sighs> Fuck, guys, my that back hurts. A bean machine. Look out! I don't want to drive that car. Please don't drug me again. So, what's been happening? You know, a hot enough guy depository. I don't know stuff. No, I don't know. Well, you can't oh, take me. this seriously. Bad dad. Uh, Parenting part two. It's, it's anyone's guess. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. You were out of the city. Sure, you guys were gone, so I thought I'd, you know... Let's maybe not pretend it was anything to do with us. Oh, okay. Here they are. Fabian, too? Oh, what a treat. Let's walk up and be civil. Oh, caffeine. Come on. Your curling has been sluggish for weeks. A little bit less lifestyle good. Uh, excuse me, I'm trying to write a screen. Shush, here. woman. Hey, Amanda. Fabian. Michael. Hi, Mom. Hi, Jimmy. These two, a picture of holistic well-being, I don't think. Hey. Maybe they shit once a year between them. Hey, oh! That's my son! Amanda, come. I have a new unit card on hold. You must pay for it. Hey! Hey! Buddy, I'm gonna ask politely that you show my wife a little respect. Red meat has been blocking your chi as well as your digestive tract. I ain't even gonna go there. I'm gonna ask you one time. Nicely. Michael, just hit him, please. Shush, woman! Anything for you, sweetheart. What, what, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I had some really good work there, you damn. Damn, they got fucked There's up. There's a lot more where that came from, Holmes. <laughs> Is he alive? <laughs> yeah, he's fine. Listen, Amanda. I want it. I'm meaning to say to you. I just. What he's trying to say, Mom, is that he's a pathetic, old, drunken mess, and he needs you. And you could do a lot better than a prima donna yoga instructor with an anal fixation. Someone say Shut up! <sighs> I guess we could try. All I'm asking for is a shot. Neutral ground. Dr. Friedlander's office. It's perfect. All of us. I'll pick up Tracy and bring her there. Meet you? Fine. All right, you. Come on. So yeah. we're all gonna go see a therapist. Yoga? No, no yoga. Oh. All right, you know where your sister is, right? Yeah. Let's go. Wait, wait, wait! But what about that sugar, caffeine, and emulsified pig fat flavored beverage I want? Another time. Oh. Come on, I want one too. Later. Tracy's meant to be at the tattoo parlor. All right, let's go. So we're all gonna go see a therapist together as a family. Tracy's getting another. Wonder how that's gonna turn out. Oh, oh God, no. that Lazlo guy's there. Lazlo, that asshole. Again? What's he want? It's Tracy that wants something. She wants to get back on fame or shame after you and Uncle T cut her cameo. Well, maybe we ought to help her out with that. Maybe we ought to. Hey, let me ask you. Back there with your mom. That went okay, didn't it? Anything that ends with Fabian's burst eardrum is more than okay with me. Yeah, I mean with me and your mom. I think it's an important first step in, like, the direction of okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I know what you mean. Here's the tattoo shop. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, everybody's scared now. Hey, nice to hear from you. Fuck off! Hey, sure. Work. I had a great time, too. You want me to pick up some fucking bell? Hello? I'm looking for something hip that, you know, says I'm capable of violence, but I'm awesome in the sack. So listen, babe, if you want to make it in Vinewood, you got to do whatever it takes, even if whatever it takes is a depressed borderline alcoholic who hosts the third most popular talent show. Bro, Laszlo's cool as fuck. I like Laszlo. So you'll let me on the show if I blow you? Yes, and if you could wear some black lipstick, the little guy loves the goth vibe. Oh, whoa, Laszlo. <laughs> Dude, that was entirely out of context, bro. Jim, you find the ink slinger, sit on him. Laszlo here is going to have a little cosmetic work done. No, please. Whoa, 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 whoa. stay put, you lame-ass Mark. Uh, sure, kid. What? 
<laughs> Come on, my punt days are long uh, away, man. Pierce's Yeah, let's do an eyebrow. Are you popping a fucking tent over here? You fucking psycho! Just do his nose. Ah, you made me a pouty fucking hipster. Ah, oh. You didn't even want. Ah. <laughs> That's fucking horrible. Oh, 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 that looks pretty. Here, let's get rid of this. Oh my god. Oh my god. Papa Bear. What's that? We're gonna give him a tattoo? Think about this. Fuck yeah. Let's not get him involved. Let's do it. Tattoo his chest? Yeah, uh, let's do his chest. Can I draw? Oh, yes. It's gonna make my man tits look enormous. Oh, he's fucking put a gang symbol on big ass dick. Yeah, it looks like he's fu yes. Michael's putting I mean, a fucking dick on his chest. Hairs on here too. Ah. There we go. Oh, nice. You got like a camera phone or a mirror? Oh yeah, I'll get you a mirror. Smash you over the head with it. You got a fucking wiener on your chest. Snip, snip. Oh, this is a real one-stop shop. Look, we can work this out. Oh, and the ponytail. You know, Fuck it, let's do drift. it. Oh, no, that's my, that's my signature, my ponytail. Now I gotta get extensions. No, what you gotta get is my daughter, whatever she wants. Yeah, without sucking on your piddle stick. Look, okay, guys, that was a joke. I'm a clown. I'm a sad, lonely little clown. Hey, you're gonna put her on your show, and you're gonna make sure she looks good. Look, okay, I got a lot of juice in this town, but I mean, I'm not a miracle. Just do it. Uh, yeah. Right. All right, Trace, let's go. We gotta get to the therapist. What? So, I'll, like, call you or something, okay? <laughs> Bye. Every family <laughs> needs therapy. Poor Laszlo. I actually like that guy, man, like I said. How do I look? Fucking horrible. Not good, is it? No. Who knew you could use a tattoo gun? It's one of those skills you pick up in prison. You know, inking your name on your celly's ass. Ew. My God, dude. Are you serious? Come on. No. Not quite. Not to be difficult, but your therapist hasn't exactly been transformational to your mental health. So I don't know why he'd be better positioned to help more dysfunctionals. Hey. This was your mother's idea. Well, I guess it beats yoga. Pop, now he beats yoga. Literally. Like Fabian, around the head with the laptop. Oh, yeah, like, ow! Our old man released the dude's inner tranquility all over the bean machine bag. To be honest, and I know it's karmically bad, but yeah, I fucking hate that dude. Yeah, I know, right? Show up his own ass. You're a fucking contortionist. Whoopee. I can tort my junk all day long and I don't act all superior about it. Just a little ashamed and empty inside. Overshare. Hey, guy was talking smack to your mother. Well, I applaud you, Pop. Here, here. Fuck, that was close. Like, using your powers of selfishness and rage for like good. Not Bro, this is the best I've driven good, uh, throughout like this whole playthrough. What's in our best interest kind of good? Fuck yeah, awesome. Let's rob somebody. <laughs> Do it, Dad. Rob? Enough, okay? I love that we're getting along, but knock it off. Yeah, oh, don't shit. like actually rob a liquor store. That might like kill the mood. Fucking therapy. Let's do that shit. Hey, how about you just let your mom and me talk, okay? We got some issues we gotta iron out. Oh my god, See, what the you fuck? Aren't into it, you can just Why did that guy try hitting me? That's cool with me. I got all the prescriptions I need, and at least for the meantime. Thank you. Kids, let's go inside. Okay. All right, you guys, this is gonna be good. Therapy session with the whole family. Uh. Amanda. Hello. Good to see you again, Michael. Fucking stupid stream quality is all fucked up, Brown. Isn't this great? Fantastic. And it Michael, fucking froze. Being positive. I am being positive. This is me being positive. Give it up, Michael. The sarcasm. 
It's one of the reasons I moved out. It's beneath you. No, it's not, Amanda. Trust me. Nothing's beneath me. No, normally there's a whore beneath you. <laughs> you know, for someone who spends every waking moment working on themselves inside and out, I gotta tell you, the progress has been really fucking slow. How would you know what progress is like, you stupid murdering shit? Uh, gee, because all you do is whine at me. Oh! All I do is whine. Michael, could you please stop murdering people? Michael, could you please stop endangering me and the both of your children? You kill people and then you sit in the sun and drink and feel guilty about it. That is not work. I don't see you complaining on the way to the fucking bank. I mean, let's face it, Amanda. We're trailer trash, you and me. We were taught to do this. Get a center, Michael. You have no center. How about you suck my cock? Huh? No way. We'll both get a center before that ever happens. You are such a fucking animal, a deranged animal. You're fucking ain't right on deranged. How could I not be? I should have had you locked up years ago, you stupid Do it. shit. Do it. I'll put you in the fucking ground with the rest of them. And that's really that's crazy. All the time we you didn't even have. do anything. Great. I think we made some real progress there. Oh, uh, Michael. <laughs> I hope this goes without saying, but family work is a little more expensive. What, double? Squared. <laughs> of course. Take care now. Hey. So you gonna come home with me or what? Guess we'll give it a try. All right, then. Kids! Are you going to take us home then? You know, there was a moment there. I thought... What? I don't know, like maybe we still had a ways to go. You know, like maybe we need more time. Time for what? Time to move beyond screaming at each other. That was cathartic. Catharsis all over my face. Ooh, I got a warm, fuzzy feeling. Probably just the meds you rated. Okay. Cathartic. All right. The fuck did that even mean? More the same. Now you're the one making the demands? No, uh -huh. no, no. Not demands. I, I, I'm saying you're right. Something was broke, and we gotta work at fixing it. We do. All of us. Yes, Mom. For real, peeps. Because I started to understand something in there. No one else gets this family. Not Dr. Oh, Dr. shit. Or my yoga teacher, or our tennis coach, or the juice guy, or the dog walker. Oh, or, hey, hey. Or Jimmy's third grade teacher. Or the trash guy. Or dad's proctologist. Or the guy that thinks he's Jesus on Vespucci Beach. <laughs> the heavy bum who thinks the world is ending. We're stuck with each other. I mean, how do you explain faking our death, changing our names, all the lying to the FIB? That monster, Trevor. There's no explaining Uncle T. Hey, is he coming to the next therapy session? <laughs> what the right fuck? Now. Kids, rooms. If you find dead bodies, cheap women, or Trevor Phillips, we're checking into the Rockford Hills Hotel. Reuniting the family. Nice. Miss Trevor, probably. Yup. Oh my God, Trevor! What the fuck did you do? It wasn't me. Uh, oh. I was always on some shit, man. <laughs> 